If you are on the internet right now, you must have heard of this viral claim that Earth has two moons. It says NASA confirms it. Well, it's new information for many, but is it real? It may be true, but the details might not be true. It is not a moon. It is a quasi moon or say a cosmic partner to Earth, a small asteroid called 2025 PN7. Is it dangerous and what is it? Our next report tells you more. Recent buzz online claims that Earth has a second moon. But what exactly is this mysterious new moon? The object at the center of these reports is called 2025 PN7, an asteroid discovered by researchers at the University of Hawaii using the Pan-STARRS telescope. Although this space rock recently made headlines as Earth's second moon, it's not a moon in the traditional sense. Instead, it's classified as a quasi-moon or quasi-satellite. So, what's a quasi-moon? Unlike our real moon, which orbits Earth due to gravity, a quasi-moon doesn't orbit Earth directly. Instead, it shares Earth's orbit around the Sun, moving in a synchronized pattern that makes it appear to follow Earth. Imagine two boats floating downstream side by side, but not physically tied together. That illustrates the relationship between Earth and 2025 PN7. In fact, it has been traveling alongside Earth in this way for about six decades and is expected to continue until around 2083. 2025 PN7 is quite small, around 60 feet wide, roughly the size of a large bus. Because of its size and distance, it's very faint and hard to detect with amateur equipment and could only be spotted recently using powerful telescopes optimized for finding such near-Earth objects. But is it dangerous? Scientists are clear, 2025 PN7 poses no threat to Earth. Its closest approach is about 186,000 miles away, which is roughly 10 times farther than the distance between Earth and the Moon. It has no impact on tides, gravity, or any planetary activities. It's simply a harmless cosmic neighbor that offers researchers a unique chance to study asteroid dynamics and orbital mechanics up close. Astronomers estimate that 2025 PN7 will stick around Earth's orbit for 126 years. In 2083, it will depart and drop its status as a quasi-moon. So why do scientists care about quasi-moons? Because they serve as natural laboratories for understanding how near-Earth objects move, interact, and sometimes pose hazards. Tracking these visitors helps improve our knowledge of the solar system and enhances preparations against potential asteroid threats in the future. Additionally, they reveal the complex, ever-changing nature of Earth's celestial neighborhood. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.